what, Susanna, what first inspired you to get involved with activism with the Atheist Republic? Well, I want to talk about this. Um, oh. <laughs> so, <laughs> so cute. Uh, back in 2019, I was going through a really difficult time in a lot of different aspects of my life. Um, but in particular, I was struggling incredibly deeply, like as deeply as you can. I was struggling with my sexuality and um, accepting myself and um, not being ashamed of myself um, to in an incredibly deep level, like it's almost hard to articulate um, how much I literally constructed an inner world to escape my persistent feelings of this pervasive, never ending burden of shame that I carried with me every single day. Um, and so part of that process of getting out of that for me was studying cult psychology and critical thinking because I wanted to try to understand how this happened to me, like how I got to a place where this is how I felt about myself, how much I internalized messages and was made to believe this about myself. And um, basically I and started watching debates between people because it, I, it helped me practice my critical thinking. And then I started um, watching debates between atheists and theists. And long story short, I came across content with Armin and um, I really enjoyed it because I had actually never heard the ex-Muslim experience before. I had never um, thought about what ex-Muslims go through. And it, it blew my mind. Um, I There were so many things I hadn't considered. And um, being exposed to the ex-Muslim movement changed my mind on like a multitude of things. It was such a different perspective um, of so many different issues um, and issues with liberalism in the U.S. or wokeism and um, um, a lack of criticism where it's deserved. And I got really into watching um, content from the ACA for a while. But then after a while, I was like, actually, like, this isn't very diverse. Like, I want to hear from people of different faiths. You know, it's it's very, tends to be very focused on Christians and evangelical Christians specifically. And um, <laughs> Sorry, Armin in the live chat saying every day is Ashra and every no, last day. No, no, no. <laughs> don't worry. Keep talking. Keep ta I'll get to that. Um. So, uh, anyways, um, I really liked um, Atheist Republic because of the news show that we do every week, and because there is such an effort that's made to talk about all the religions across the world. It helped me learn a lot. Um, I really appreciated getting different perspectives of people across the world that helped get me out of my bubble. And um, we're literally the largest atheist community in the world. So by definition, we're the most diverse. And um, I, yeah, that, that was part of what really drew me to Atheist Republic. And um, I was able to meet Armin because I was interviewed on the Secular Jihadist podcast. And that's how we talked for the first yeah. time. And then we liked each other so much that afterwards I was like, hey, if you need a Christian for an ex-Christian for the news show, like, I'm free. And he was like, you better be serious because I'm going to say yes right now. <laughs> and then so I joined the I was going to reach out to you. I was going to reach yeah. out to you. I thought you would be amazing. And then you beat me to it. You reached out to me. Aww. Yeah, before I reached out to you. <laughs> and um yeah and then after a few months um i i was elected by the board to become the uh ceo and uh the rest is history yeah. <laughs> i i love i love doing what i do so oh. i have so much fun now i need to know why everyone's talking about you right. hussein in the live chat <laughs> okay okay so here's here's what you happened. know okay, that was... me as the resident secret shia i have to have, <laughs> it caught my attention immediately Oh wait! Before we do that, I want to highlight this. Howard Harris is saying, 
Harry saying your chemistry was so good that I also thought about mixing it up with a female host brings a different viewpoint uh, sometimes that we miss. Oh, Horace, straight up, Armin and I did talk. We're like, did he bring Nuria on as a co host? Is he because of our format? <laughs> <laughs> this is great. So like, we inspired you. I think he, I think he did. <laughs> <laughs> That's Confirmation. great. Confirmation. Confirmation. This is great. I'm so glad that uh, we inspired you for that. That's amazing. Okay, Aww. we not need to. Oh, Nuria right. is a great right. addition to your show. She's the yeah, best. She's, I really like she her. She is good. She we is need good. to have her on soon. We need to have her on, yes. Before I make another show, and <laughs> criticize them again until she's like, you know what? I'm not going to deal with Armin. <laughs> yes, let's bring her on before I do something else so she doesn't give up on us. Um, well, okay. Here's the thing. Armin, you know, gets aggro. No, he, you know, he, 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 he's very strong, and, you know, he tends to push sometimes people feel pushed away but my job yeah. is i bring them back in oh <laughs> yeah you, you should invite her <laughs> hey guys if you're a fan of blasphemy and sexy cali you know like me then you need to be sure to subscribe to our newsletter link in the description below because if you subscribe we will send you a free copy of our blasphemous art ebook and let me tell you it is the tastiest blasphemy that you can find anywhere available today and we are so generous with our blasphemy that we continue to send you more blasphemy every week so make sure to subscribe link in the description below